you can come and and I will continue to be law abiding and I will continue to do my journalistic work. Uh, work. What uh, like Bimbe caring, I will continue to say as it is. If anybody don't want that, you better leave the public office because the public office is there to be scrutinized. Okay, can yes. you please uh, tell us the conditions of the uh, detention centers and then the food and how generally how you were treated by well, the official from the po your point of arrest to the point of uh, uh, detention center? Well, first of all, my arrest was unlawful and uh, for the first 24 hours, the police haven't provided me with any food, any food at all. So all the cells I've been to, the conditions are terrible. And uh, uh, even criminals, they have rights. So you cannot just arrest somebody without, without telling him what he, what he or she has done and put him in a cell where you know that cell is bare flow without mat without mat without anything bare flow and we have to urinate there that is another thing that is that condition was horrible and i'm urging the police and or the gambia government to, to improve the situation of uh, cells at police station government spokesperson has accused you of inciting violence no. Government spokesperson has been telling people that he will close home digital effort. That has been for a very long time because because he he spoke to somebody, uh, he spoke to many people, telling them Kamodu is against President Barrow and I will make so and close down his radio station. And I think this is what he's exercising. But then the government spokesperson Ibrahim Sankare or Ibrahim Silla, uh, only one word to describe them, they are a disappointment. Because Ibrahim Silla is a journalist, he's been fighting for press freedom in this country. This is why he's been in exile for so long. So when he is in the system now, we hope that will continue. But then instead, is the other way around. So for Ibrahim Sankare, well, the only thing I would describe him, he has to have his record straight that uh, we are not uh, enemies uh, for development and uh, we are not enemies of the state. Is so, because of your political affiliation as well? I don't have any political affiliation. As far as I know, I am neutral, impartial, and I'm inviting to my show all section of political, uh, uh, political uh, groupings. But, you know, my job is to invite you. If you fail to come, I cannot force you. So when you see my records, I invite everybody. You know, you remember the government spokesperson and the minister of information one time, you know, used to come to my radio show on Friday, the show that called Kabefo. And they were even saying that that show belonged to them. So if I can give that show to them, because this is a commercial radio, but I'm allocating this Friday for them at no cost, so which means I am impartial. So they only accuse me that I'm affiliated to other political party, which is nonsense and absolutely rubbish. Can we learn something from this? What do you expect us to learn from this? Yeah, what I expect you to learn from this, be truthful, be law-abiding, be impartial, neutral, because journalist, journalism is one of the noblest jobs you know one can have because remember the message that came to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam came through a, a, a angel gabriel and this is a form of journalism is to spread message so what whatever message we are spreading it has to be truthful because uh, people rely on on uh, on us how many people are uh, listen because people get their information from the media it's like a doctor who doesn't know what medicine to cure automatically become a killer instead of a doctor. Like journalists also, if you are spreading false information, you become a killer, not even a journalist. So my advice and that what the young people can learn from me, let us be determined. Let us be a watchdog. Let us, uh, uh, let us take government to tax because they are here for us. Other political parties, we, they, don't, they don't collect our tax, but government is collecting our tax. And then we, will have, we should all have a share of that national cake. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Um, I hope you are doing good.
Yes, I'm good, I'm good. Yes, a lot of people are saying, and this current minute, uh, they're disappointed with the uh, Gambia government when it comes to uh, media. Are you disappointed with the Gambian government? Well, disappointment is, uh, is an understatement, and I'm urging them, and I'm urging them to improve whatever they are doing, because they should know that the, uh, the, the current government, which is a coalition government, we, we, we all came together to fight the dictatorship. So once they are there, what the, the first thing they should avoid is the sign of dictatorship. I'm not saying there, there is a dictatorship in this country, I'm not saying. But we could see the signs, the way that my reporter was beaten up, the way that other people were beaten up during the protest. And uh, I think the police gave them the permit to go out. And this is why the journalists were also there. So if the security beating journalists in that way, that is not good for the government. That is send a bad signal. And I don't think the government should continue to do that. The current Minister of Information and also the government spoke person, um, they have um, talked about um, us as journalists. Um, do you feel disappointed by their statement? And do you think that this current uh, two uh, people, that is the uh, government spoke person and the Minister of uh, Information, um, people ha should have hope on them? Because they were once journalists and they left the country because of such things. Uh, do you think that they should have allowed such a thing to happen? Well, I'm very much disappointed in the government spokesperson and uh, Ibrahim Asilla as the Minister of Information because I worked a lot with Ibrahim Asilla. Ibrahim Asilla couldn't speak French. Whenever he was reporting for the BBC in Casamas, in Guinea-Bissau, I used to be his interpreter and I knew his fight. When I was in the UK, Ibrahim happened to use my, med my medium a lot fighting Yaya Jami. Was he inciting violence by then? No. So now, we are saying what we're supposed to say. We are saying how it is. Now, Ibrahim Asilla is saying that we are, uh, we are inciting violence. This is a total disappointment, and I'm urging Ibrahim Asilla if he want to respect. Because for Sangare, I don't have any message for him. I know that he's a psychophant. I knew that because we were all in the diaspora, we were all fighting Yaya Jame, and Yaya Jame was the president. So if you don't want, 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 want us not to say anything uh, against the government because they are in the government. So this reminds me, if I told Yaya Jame had hired these people long time, they would be more worse than all the worst ministers you knew. This is it, because they didn't have that work. This is why they were out there against, uh, 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 against Yaya Jame. But if I told Ibrahim Asilla was the Minister of Information during Yaya Jame time, he could have closed all the private radio stations here. Because remember, he has even waged a war against community radios for involving in politics. And then my show is never political. I'm neutral, impartial, you know, and then truthful. But then one time, because of my show is also aired at the Bansan Community Radio, Ibrahim Asila issued a statement that uh, he's urging all community radios to stop politicking. I knew he's talking about my show. Uh, uh, I'm urging Ibrahim, if you can listen to me, because Ibrahim is my cousin. His mom is my auntie, the same blood. So I'm urging him to resign before he tallies the leftover of his reputation. Mr. Bujo, it's like you were late, there were a lot of people trying to talk to you. First of all, I would like to know how you feel about being released from the prison after two days of detention. I feel relief and then uh, I feel really okay because I knew that I am inside but then I have the support of the Gambian people because now what the Gambian people want is the truth and this is what exactly I'm doing. If I told I'm not truthful, if I told I'm inciting violence, all the reactions you have seen online and the uh, other medium, that would not happen because the media would be the first one to recognize that uh, you, my colleagues, will know that Pamodu is inciting violence. How have you been treated? How have you been treated in the prison? Well, fairly, you know, fairly. Apart from uh, sleeping on the bare floor, uh, uh, smelly cells, uh, I have not been subjected to any form of harassment, any form of torture. How about your radio? Has it, is it still shut down or has it been yes. broken? Yes, according to Ibrahim Ajit Sankara, I think he is now the head of Pura. 
because we never apply a radio station from uh, the government spokesperson. I think it's too much. We never apply this lansing from the government spokesperson. The lansing was issued by Pura, so if we do anything wrong, I think Pura should be able to communicate to us. Pura is the one that's supposed to shut down the radio station, but not State House, not Ibrahim Aji Sankare. So this is a dictatorship tendency that is trending. So how far have you been communicated to by Pura? Never. I've never been communicated to by Pura. The radio is still shut down. The radio is still shut down and the paratroopers are there right now. I knew even when I go home, I wouldn't have access to my radio because the paratroopers are there. Are you trying to communicate to put them in position? So well, the first, thing I the first thing I would do when I reach Birkama, I would go to the radio and see if they would let me in. If they break me, then that that is another news. Okay. But for now, you know, I'm waiting. Um, a lot of people are saying... Uh, Get aware. Remember, this is a new democracy. And Gambia, now, we have a whole lot of media and a whole lot of radio stations. So this is why they will see that journalists are talkative, journalists are this. But then without journalists, without journalists, by now, today, we would have been subjected to exactly what Yaya Jami has been doing for the past 22 years. But because of the journalists, whenever they want to do, they are scared. What are they going to say? So I'm urging everyone, you know, uh, under the leadership of the Gambia Press Union, all the journalists to continue talking because only talking will salvage us. Uh, a lot of people say, um, you knew that this is going to happen. So you said, Harama Udbos, Harama Tirai, Maddeflo, Hamme, Kendefuko, so you're going to be arrested, 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 so you're going to be arrested. This is very hypocritical, because this is not my first time being arrested. I've been harassed at Faraba, beaten up, arrested, and nobody looking to be arrested. But then, those who are saying that, I think, uh, they should come back to their senses because this is not from me. My popularity is not from me. It's not from them. It's from the God Almighty. He, you know, God Almighty does what He wants because He's only God. So He is the one who makes me to be more popular. Whenever I talk, people listen. So you know, for uh, those people who are saying that, I will tell them uh, that is hypocritical and is rubbish and is unfounded. Next for home digital FM. Home digital FM. The next for home digital FM. We will fight for its reopening. And whenever it's reopened, I'm urging every Gambian to come and see, to come and listen this maiden edition of Member Caring. Because you know, looking a journalist in cells, you are because if you want to visit the cell, they won't give us permission. But what I have seen is enough. For Gambia to know that security sector reform is just a far. It's not it's just a word, but nothing absolutely is gone. Because every Gambian has a right, even criminal have a right. So you cannot just arrest a journalist without telling him why he was arrested. And one thing we, we should avoid in this country, you are arrested. Why am I arrested? We we get a order from the top. Who is the top? Who is the top? Yaya, during Yaya Jame time, this is what happened. Whenever they come for you, they will arrest you and kidnap you, like what happened to Rambo Jada, what happened to other people. But now, this is exactly what happened. This is why they've been hiding me here. For, you know, when they knew that pe one person knew that I am here, they will collect me and took me to another police station. And police officers, they themselves will come and volunteer to me. This is not good because they don't want anybody to see you. Okay. Uh, pa, love you in color because love you in use la na kibaro to talan sabo kibaro nyan to. If you leye bula sign, pa moro di amu siya ra Gambia Banko kang nga government spoke passing di ay ay kaito bondi ya di la be to puri akarang iko pa moro be fit no le bondi kang Gambia Banko kang pa moro ibo wal jabi la nyari. Well. Malla finunka je jabi koteng, bari bari yenyi nika me je jabi lale. Government spokesperson mimo Ibrahim Aji Sangarete, mimo banko kanjang, juma le malo. Bari three years jodna e protest follow minke, dunia bi bi la moika audio lale, atata West Coast akaya moile morka bani kabaro bani. So inulom moluti, mini alonko because of their selfish interest. 
il a fait que le président Baro Kenye coûte un manquement. Il y a un désastre. Parce que nous, 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 Ibrahim Adji Sankare, on a déjà hacké l'autre. Parce que Doko est sur ton informe. Parce que Doko est sur son info. Mais il a eu un surprise. Parce que l'Amérique est collée à l'Italie. Il y a un mot de main à l'Amérique et à l'Italie. Mais l'Amérique, ni man doku sabake buka balu so atedu nga koku ya atala buka son doku wala so fase dabal dabal uri kejang pura ya doku sotono so mabili mwala bada salonga ala wa dabal dabal uru lumbe sila yente bula selo minkono wa selo fanuta basati jie bari jie fanuta bari atese mira kaburo adeteta lede andu mbi momalo watu jingale ibe fale so wale muna kumota te andu nila fita lefanang a sa proof pa modu be fitino kurukuru kanya de le lafta la wo proof o nye bari ate walef anu nade mo proof a buto mimo ko man fanando o jala le ha pa ya ni be ni muta ro min kela ten ate la do ko ni muro ni la ko ma komin nun to e kela pol ke nyami e ka biya mu nyami ko ka je ka mol kala mo tan bi mi ya be ni soro ndiro min kela ate la do ko ni jinde la ko ka ke well ni atara to nya fo no follow to mu kan ni message wallet saimbe kela kane balet ni atara to nya follow and wo kane ba ya be kela monet because fengo feng nyim ban ko lu wale soto fengo fe ba kela ani lu wa sabanyola so bari nyim detention no nyim man to sila ka to ko munam fontele fisiata sirim bambat fontele fisiata loya dabot kunu inyanda min mirala kunu ya ya jamme ka loja na ko man ma mom de kabi wonde te anamu abe equatorial guinea so nyim nyanda kela a learning point leti for minili alonko ibe mansayala ni ufu kala malong bitele bijang same ibe bola jane doisi ni ite ima keku isa ita minnoto minketa ala wole bekele la keta momote so wala waka mala isuwa ni ite njula mbeke nini ite mabo mabo natoni ibe njula brika mala wale ya fonda mwoli embeda ni ite mabo ya nisa mba poli station lule to katafo woro isi hata de Dori bidhaa kalo londi jela dore bata njindi. Abaraka, abaraka, abaraka. It's the worst mistake, Bugaida. Lula arrest. It's the worst mistake because nigga Lula is gonna be your media them down. Yes, only to only the truth shall set us shall set us free. Thank you. We'll follow that of course will be what we had announced earlier and that is to launch a court action against the government for the many wrongs that they have done in this case yeah thank you, so much. Thank you. Yeah, uh, everyone should go home and relax it's and thank you so much for the journalists yeah. the solidarity yeah. that has been shown in this case yeah. is really quite amazing and for me yeah. and for everyone at the GPU yeah. from the president down I mean, it has, it has even given us more courage, more conviction to do more for journalism, to do more for our country, and to do more to ensure that there is social justice in the country. So journalism is here to stay? It has always been, and it will forever be. This nation, like Joseph Pulitzer told the people of America, that our nation and our press will rise and fall together. It's the same in the Gambia too. Yeah. And thank you for the support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.